Introducing our latest quality of life feature, cosmetic inspection. That's right, gamers. It's the only gear check that matters. It is fashion inspect. Is the next kind of quality of life or in-game feature for Guild Wars 2. Here we go, a little bit of update. And, spoiler alert, guys. Wow, look at this. A new location for the next expansion. You heard it here first. The new expansion has got trees in it. I bet you didn't see that one coming, but... More on that a little bit later. Anyway, yeah, we've uh, we've got cosmetic inspection, guys. Do not worry. It's not gear check. Nobody's going to see your green gear and your lack of relic and mismatched, uh, <laughs> mismatched runes or anything like that. But now you can actually stalk people. You can walk up to someone. You can right-click on them. You can inspect their fashion. And guess what? You can become them before their very eyes. I think, honestly, I kind of want to do that. I want to go up to someone in the game, inspect their fashion... And then turn into a clone. In fact, we should do that with like a full raid group. Like 50 people. We follow someone. Or we just, we go up to random people in the in-game world. And kind of copy their fashion. And turn into them immediately. Just follow them around the entire open world. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, that's true. Like, I mean, this is a pretty cool feature, honestly. It would be it, one of the things that probably should have been in the game since the very beginning. I mean, honestly, I think gear check would even be good. But we're not talking about that. Like, uh, we don't want to get bogged down in some lunatic discussions about gear check today. We're talking about fashion inspector today. But you know what? Look, you know what we've got to do? <laughs> because I, I know this is going to sound insane to some of you, but people are actually, some people are mad about this. And to be clear, it is a tiny minority of players who are mad about this. But I have, I have to share some of these comments with you. They're way better. There's some really juicy comments on the forums as well. I'd highly recommend checking it out. They're, these are amazing. On Twitter as well, actually, on the, the thread that ArenaNet posted about this. Really funny. People are big mad. Not many, to be clear, but it is still funny, even though their opinions are, at the end of the day, uh, don't really matter. It is uh, very funny to me that people are mad about this. I hope there is a disable option. As you've seen in the comments, not fair. People have spent hours on their look. Now everyone can steal my drip. Great. Now it will only take seconds for people to copy my looks that I spent hours coming up with. <laughs> I mean... I mean, <laughs> I mean, in all seriousness, I actually don't think that's going to happen very often. Because bear in mind, this feature exists in other games and people love their fashion. Wow. Seriously, my guild raids Mythic and trust me, I reckon over half of their game time is dressing up their little blood elves. Okay, or their Draenei. Right? Trust me, they, they love this stuff. Um... I think it's actually very unlikely that people are going to wholesale steal people's appearances. It will usually be looking for what's that weapon skin or, oh, that shoulder skin is kind of cool. Or, oh, what's that dye color, right? Th th that's actually what's going to happen. Like, people are not just going to, like, randomly steal people's entire appearances. And, and the idea of stealing an appearance is inherently ridiculous. It's a video game, guys. You don't own a skin. You don't, you don't own that. That's not how it works. But blah, blah, blah. Uh, very funny. Uh, I would highly recommend reading the threads if you are looking for some uh, light entertainment. But yeah, that's coming in the game. We can have a look at how it works. You can see here, you just click on them. Boom. Inspect cosmetics. You can see all of the dyes, all of the skins, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's pretty nice, isn't it? You know, look at that. It's a nice little uh, interface there. Uh, and of course, uh, in PvP and World vs. World, you cannot see uh, enemy players' weapons, right? Because that's information about the build, right? Otherwise, you essentially be kind of get, well. I'm not gonna lie; it's a, it doesn't really matter. Like by the time you can inspect someone, I'm pretty sure you can see their weapons. I guess you can't see their secondary weapon set, but I mean, yeah, it's a uh, nice. They were thinking about that as well. You, you, know, you can't just go and spy on people and counter their build or whatever, or figure out what exactly type of character they're playing as well. Bit of a reiteration on some of the quality of life stuff actually here as well. And yeah, honestly, the, the quality of life team has actually been doing a really good job. It's like these smaller updates that can really make the game better. I actually think one of the kind of underappreciated ones is the progress bars actually in Meta Achievements. That's actually a really nice feature to be honest. There's a lot of good stuff in here and they have actually been doing a very good job. Um, we've seen them kind of reiterate this a lot in a lot of their posts and there's a reason for this. Uh, I'm almost certain they're just trying to reaffirm their commitment to the game. They can't explicitly come out and say, don't worry guys, uh, I know that Korean shareholder completely owned us right uh, and accidentally leaked that we were doing Guild Wars 3 or at least in the planning phase for 
uh, Guild Wars 3 or something like that. Uh, but obviously, they, they can't come out and say that and say, oh yeah, we're still committed to the game. They have to be a little bit more indirect about it. And that's kind of what this section is. They're saying, we're still working on the game, guys. Promise. Uh, so a bit of a funny one there. And a little bit of insight into what could be coming up in the future here as well. Actually, uh, of course, because we have content happening. Okay, and by, by content, I mean they're adding more pixels. Wow, look at this, guys. Thanks to DirectX 11, we've been able to increase the number of armature bones and lighting objects for new models and environments. Build full 360 degree skyboxes and begin using vertex animation or point level animation. Wow. I honestly, who knows what that means. I bet some nerds in the chat can tell us, but basically... It's probably going to look a little bit better. The textures are going to be better in the new content. Uh, people are coping and saying they'll go back and update the old stuff. No, they won't. That will probably be a bit of a waste of time, okay? Uh, but it doesn't mean there might be some kind of cool graphical improvements uh, in future content, right? And very likely we're going to see some of that pop up in the next expansion. So a little bit exciting there as well. These enhancements not only pave the way for better visuals and smoother gameplay, but also ensure that Guild Wars 2 remains a competitive, dynamic world. That evolves with this community. We'll have more developments to share on this front as the team continues their work. Very exciting. And, well, I mean, graphics updates are always good. Personally, I'd like them to uh, improve the content and release more of it. But, hey, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose, in that regard. But, hey, look at this. We do have one final extra bonus meme here as well. <laughs> yeah, they can go back and fix heavy legendary armor. They can go fix the textures on that. <laughs> but anyway, look at this, guys. I hope you're feeling suitably teased right now. Look at this. The new expansion is confirmed to have trees in it. And uh, it looks like this is going to be kind of a Tyrion-themed expansion. It kind of looked a little bit like Ascalon to me. In, in particular, um, I immediately thought, actually, of this... Wait, what, what's going on here? I immediately thought of this particular scene, actually, from... Uh, Ascalon, actually. Guild Wars Prophecies. That's It, it, it was like, ooh, it kind of looks a little bit like that. Are we going to Ascalon? Are we going to some part of that area there? It looks a little bit like it. I don't know. But then again, when I loaded this up, I then realized, wait a minute, it, it's got trees and it's got hills. I mean, realistically, it could be anything, right? Like, uh, I'm sure people will manage to speculate a whole bunch of stuff about this. There is one interesting piece of information. This file, it was named... What was it called? It was called, like, Bog, right? Or something like that. This was like a... Uh, the name of the file was a Bog essentially. So there's something going on there. Maybe that's a little bit of a bit of a situation. You know, this could be a swamp or a bog themed uh, <laughs> a bog themed zone happening in the, uh, you, know, the, the, you know, the expansion. But who knows? Not really a lot to go on here. But hey, look, you know, the expansion, it does exist. It's a tangible thing. They're going to release the expansion this year, guys. It's crazy. You absolutely love to see that. But I'm sure we'll be hearing more about that because it's less than 30 days until the final update for Soto at this point. And we'll be hearing about the next expansion pretty damn soon. Uh, it will almost certainly be releasing kind of at a similar time of year to Soto. So in that you know, uh, late August, September, maybe a little bit later, a little bit earlier. We don't exactly know, obviously, uh, kind of windows. So we'll know about that very, very soon. But yeah, not really a lot going on. It's like a little bit of a bonus feature, a little bit of a bonus meme there. And the entertainment of watching people get mad that you can follow people around and see what happens hat they're wearing so a little bit of a minor update here uh for guild wars 2 and that's coming out uh well tomorrow or probably today by the time you watch this wow how exciting is that you can go around in super adventure box and you can also stalk people's fashion simultaneously what a time to be alive my friends what an absolute time to be alive very cool stuff and yeah look you can even look guys you can either, look, find in the trading post. You can go and look up people's stuff and buy it immediately. You can, on the spot, steal their appearance. Absolutely huge. But anyway, that's the news. That's it. I'm out of here. Done. What do you think about this? Are you big mad? If you are big mad, please write a comment, actually, because I will read it and I will be entertained by it. But yeah, leave comments, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, watch the stream. You know, all sorts of things. You know, get all over the place. Go crazy. You know, be here, be there. Be everywhere, my friends. Enjoy. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that actually is interesting. Uh, I just noticed that this doesn't show infusions, does it? Ah, I guess it's because infusions have stats. Oh, because it would tell you that you've got ascended gear as well. And they don't want to show any any form of indication of what type of gear you've got. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that actually sucks. Like, yeah, man. It would be, I, I think they might have to find some way to integrate infusions into this, actually. Because I feel like people really, well, yeah, people actually ask me a lot. In particular, because I've got the world versus world, like, mist infusion. People do ask me about this all the time, actually. Um, so, yeah, that would be, that would be cool, actually, if you could do that. That would be kind of interesting. But, yeah, I guess there's also some, some stuff there as well. You can't preview, uh, infusion, so I guess that could be a factor there as well. But that would be a really nice feature if they could show what infusion appearance that you actually have, right? That would be pretty good, I think. Uh, because I think those are things that are quite difficult to obtain and, you know, not immediately obvious what they're called, right? There's no easy way to look up what infusion effect, especially if you've got more than one. If you've got more than one infusion, it might be a little bit difficult to, um, to actually see, like, you know, which one is causing which effect, actually. So that would be nice, especially because infusions are a pretty important, like, endgame cosmetic in Guild Wars 2 at the end of the day. But yeah, that would be a nice little, uh extra feature, I guess. But yeah, they need to make it so you can preview infusions. There we go. Feedback has been given. But that's it. Enjoy, gamers. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Boom. We're done.